Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art, and let's draw the very cool looking Ultima Knight in Fortnite. So let's get started with a quick sketch, and then I'll show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so let's draw this, and to begin, we're gonna start out with the brow area first. So we're just gonna be slanting inward, so we're just gonna give him a mean brow. So we're slanting in first, and then on the top here, just come up and then come back towards the middle. Okay, so that's gonna be the brow area. And then for the eyes, it's just right underneath here. It's a little bit longer. Okay, so those are his eyes and then we're gonna continue on. So right on the corner here, we just slant it in. And then on the outside here, just slant out. And then just connect those. So it's gonna be another triangle. So right here, just curve toward the center. It's a little bit long. And then come down straight on both sides. All right, and then from there, we're gonna draw the outside of the, uh, I guess his head. So we just slant out. So it's a little bit wider on the bottom. And then let's just close that up first. Okay, so whatever angle you have here, just close it off. And then to finish off the uh, face area right here, just come down here, slant down toward the middle, and then just hook it back out. All right, and then there's some more detail, but let's um, work on the top of the head first. So from here, we just go up. Curve it out. And we're gonna come all the way up here, right in the center, you can make a little point first. And then just connect those so it's nice and sharp. And then in the middle here, we just draw one line straight down. All right, and then for the side of the head, right around here, we just slant out. And then just come back in toward the eye area. All right, and then for some details here, we can add another line right above the brow. That was a very strange looking head. And then right here, just draw two lines like this first. And then on the corner, just go out. And this one's gonna slant down. All right, so now let's move on to the body. So right here on the neck, the scarf area, we just slant down first, and then come back toward the middle. And then for his shoulders, we just slant it down, nice and wide. And then we're gonna pinch it all the way down into his waist. This is gonna be the top of his belt right here. I'll just close it off first. Okay, and then let's work on some details in here. So right around here, I'll just draw one line, these armor pieces. And the center has got a clip. So I'm just gonna draw a rectangle here. And then right here, just draw one line slanting like this, and then we're gonna curve it down into the rectangle. And let's just add two lines, same curve. All right, and then the middle here, just draw one line across, and this one's gonna go behind the clip, and then slant down. So this part's gonna be right around here. And then center line, let's draw one line coming straight down. And then right here, just come down, and then slant it back up. All right, and then in here, just one slant or two slant going toward the middle. 
I know it's a little bit tricky with all these lines, but once we color them, we'll be able to see them a lot better. All right, so let's come down here and draw apart the bell first. So he's got some uh, shells right here. So it's just gonna be one big rectangle. So just extend it out. And then let's just divide it in threes. And then two lines across. And then come over here, draw another pouch. And it's kind of just kind of floating out of nowhere, but we'll connect them. Let's come down toward the center and just close it off. And then right here, just come down. So this is gonna be the side of the belt. And then for the belt itself, just come straight across. And let's just add a buckle detail here. Two lines and then let's add a little rectangle inside here, top and bottom. All right, so now let's work on his arms. So he's got uh, really big shoulder pads here, but here's the armpit. Okay, so for the shoulder pads here, just come up, slant down, then right above here, right above the, uh, the armpit area, slant out and then close it off. So it's like a big block. All right, and then now let's draw in the arms. So right here, bracket, his shoulders right here, his biceps right here, here's the elbow. And then we can close that off first. The lower arm will flare out. So right around here. Okay, curve, straight down and then close it off. And then for his fist, let's come down with a little hook. Here's the back of the fist. Let's turn it and then just close it. All right, and let's add in some details up here. Add a little rectangle there. And it's got some more shells up here. So I'm just gonna draw one little block and I'm gonna draw one more up here. And then again, those two lines, the straps. And then down here, it's got a lot of little pieces. Let's draw a little angle. All right, and then I know there's more detail. Let's go um, on to the other side first. So this side's a little bit different. This time I'm gonna slant up. So come across here, here's the armpit. So right around here, gonna slant down. He's got one big curve right here for his shoulders. Okay, and then now for the arms. So again, bicep curving in, here's the shoulder, bicep right around here, and then just close it off. Just use the other side for reference. Lower arm, flare out, turn, straight down, close it off. Okay, so same thing here. Come down with a hook, back the fist, and then just turn it and close it. Okay, now for the details, uh, finish up here. This one's easy, we just draw one line across. And then on the arm here, I'm just gonna draw a curve like this on each side. And then on the top, just come across and then come back into the arm. So come across into the arm. And then lastly right here, this one's easy, we just draw one. A square right in the middle on the corners we just slant it out a lot of little details all right so now let's move on to his legs so his legs a little bit easier um, let's come down here right in the middle let's add one little extra fold here and now we're drawing his legs and then we'll have to erase out some of the parts, but this way is a little bit easier. So I'm gonna start right around here for his legs, come down, back to the middle. And go up and just close it. So that's gonna be the uh, top of the, uh, the knee pads there. 
Okay, and then for the knee pads, just continue down and then come toward the middle. And let's just go ahead and add in one line in the center. Okay, so the other side, start on the hip right here. Curve, just use the other side for reference. Here's the middle, just come over a little bit, curve. And then again, same thing. Angle up. Continue to slant going down and come toward the center. Okay, same thing here, one line in the middle. And let's just go ahead and finish up the lower legs and then we'll add in the extra details up there. So this part, flare out, curve, straight down, close it with a slight slant, and then I'm just going to add a little rectangle right underneath. Dome shape here, curve, just come out a little bit more on this side. Close it and then one extra line there. And then for this part here, just slant down. And then same slant as this, just go right into the foot. Okay, so same thing on the other side. Flare out. Curve. Straight down, close it with a slight slant. Rectangle on the bottom and then same dome shape here. Come down. Let's come out a little bit more on this side. Close it. Alright, same thing here. Slant, slant. And then same angle as that. Just go right into the foot. Okay, so now let's add in the uh, details up here. He's got another belt. So start here, I'm just going to slant all the way across. So that's the bottom line and then the upper line here. It's going to go right into the other belt. And we can add in, so these, de these details are, just add in some extra details. All right, so now to join the cloth, uh, hang on the side here. And this, this is where you're going to have to erase out some of the lines. So I'm just going to start here. Go right across the leg, going out. So same thing here, just go straight out. And then I'll start up here. Just come down and just close it. Okay, here, come out and just close it nice and sharp. So you got to erase out this line right here. Because it's going over the legs. And then right here on the back side, just draw one curve going into the body behind the legs and then in here on the back side we can add it's a little asymmetrical here so just draw a little angle like this first come back up and just go out kind of trying to meet up to this edge right here and then lastly on this leg right here just one more little detail just one little slant going up so start here and just go all the way up and that is it for this ultimate night. Hope you guys liked the way it turned out and it wasn't too complicated for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you next time.